Chapter 1, What is Physiography? Physiography is the study of the Earth's surface features. It encompasses the shape, composition, and origin of landforms like mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, and more. Physiography analyzes how these features have been created by various geological processes. Over time, including plate tectonics, weathering, erosion, and sedimentation. By studying physiography, we can understand how landscapes evolve, the impact of these features on human settlement and activities, and their influence on weather patterns and ecosystems. Mountains. Mountains are large, landforms that rise significantly above the surrounding area. They are typically formed by the collision of tectonic plates, volcanic eruptions, or weathering and erosion. Over millions of years, mountains have distinct features like peaks, ridges, slopes, and valleys. Top 10 Mountains of Pakistan, with height, 1. K2, Mount Godwin Austin, height, 8,611 meters, 28,251 feet, range, Karakoram Range Location, Baltistan Region, Gilgit Baltistan known as the second highest mountain in the world. K2 is renowned for its extreme difficulty in climbing and is often referred to as the Savage Mountain. 2. Nanga Parbat, height, 8,126 meters, 26,660 feet, range, Himalayas location, Gilgit Baltistan nicknamed the Killer Mountain, Nanga Parbat is one of the deadliest peaks to climb. It stands isolated and commands tremendous vertical relief over surrounding terrain. 3. Gasherbram I, height, 8,080 meters, 26,509 feet, range, Karakoram range location, Gilgit Baltistan also known as Hidden Peak, Gasherbram I is the 11th highest mountain in the world and part of the Gasherbram Massif. 4. Broad Peak, height, 8,051 meters, 26,414 feet, range, Karakoram range location, Gilgit Baltistan. Broad Peak is named for its broad summit and is the 12th highest mountain in the world. 5. Gasherbram II, height, 8,035 meters, 26,362 feet, range, Karakoram range location, Gilgit Baltistan part of the Gasherbram Massif. Gasherbram II is the 13th highest mountain globally and known for its challenging climbing routes. 6. Distagal Sar, height, 7,885 meters, 25,869 feet, range, Hispar Musta, Karakoram range location. Gilgit Baltistan Distagal Sar is the highest mountain in the Hispar Musta subrange and one of the lesser known peaks in the Karakoram. 7. Kunyang Chish, height, 7,852 meters, 25,761 feet, range, Hispar Musta, Karakoram range location. Gilgit Baltistan Kunyang Chish is the second highest peak of the Hispar Musta after Distagal Sar. 8. Masherbrum, height, 7,821 meters, 25,659 feet, range, Karakoram range location. Gilgit Baltistan also known as K1. Masherbrum is one of the most striking peaks in the Karakoram range due to its pyramid shape. 9. Rakaposhi, height, 7,788 meters, 25,551 feet, range, Karakoram range location. Gilgit Baltistan Rakaposhi is notable for its exceptional rise over local terrain, making it one of the highest peaks relative to its base to summit height. 10. Batura Sar, height, 7,795 meters, 25,574 feet, range, Batura Musta, Karakoram range location. Gilgit Baltistan Batura Sar is the second highest peak in the Batura Musta after Batura I. Plateaus. Plateaus are elevated, flat landforms that are generally higher than the surrounding plains or valleys. They can be formed by volcanic lava flows, erosion of mountains, or the uplifting of large areas of the Earth's crust. Plateaus often have steep sides and a relatively flat top. Plateaus of Pakistan. 1. Potwar Plateau, area, approximately 22,000 square kilometers location, northern Punjab and eastern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa provinces explanation. The Potwar Plateau is an extensive region characterized by relatively flat terrain interspersed with low hills. It serves as an important agricultural area and is known for its fertile soils. 2. Balochistan Plateau, area, Roughly 347,000 square kilometers location. Balochistan Province Explanation. 
The Balochistan Plateau is a vast, arid region marked by desert landscapes, rugged mountains, and wide plains. It is sparsely populated and experiences extreme temperatures, with hot summers and cold winters. 3. Fatohar Plateau, area, around 8,000 square kilometers location. Northeastern Punjab Province Explanation The Patohar Plateau is a hilly region known for its rocky terrain and sparse vegetation. It is famous for its salt range, which contains rich salt deposits and serves as a significant source of minerals. 4. Gilgit Baltistan Plateau, area, approximately 72,971 square kilometers location. Gilgit Baltistan Region Explanation the Gilgit Baltistan Plateau is a mountainous region characterized by high altitude plateaus, deep valleys, and snow capped peaks. It is home to some of the world's highest mountain ranges, including the Karakoram and Himalayas. 5. Karakoram Plateau area varies, but part of it covers a significant portion of the Gilgit Baltistan region location. Gilgit Baltistan region explanation The Karakoram Plateau is an elevated region dominated by rugged mountains glaciers, and deep valleys. It is renowned for its stunning landscapes and is home to some of the world's highest peaks, including K2, plains. Plains are low-lying areas of relatively flat land with slight variations in elevation. They are, typically formed by the deposition of sediments from rivers, glaciers, or wind over long periods. Plains are often fertile and crucial for agriculture and human settlements. Plains of Pakistan the most prominent plains in Pakistan are the Indus Plains, formed by the Indus River and its tributaries, the Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Sutluj, and Bayas Rivers, flowing from the Himalayas. These fertile plains cover a vast area of about 200,000 square miles, 518,000 square kilometers, and stretch from the Himalayan foothills in the north to the Arabian Sea in the south. The Indus River Plain can be further divided into two regions. The Upper Indus Plain, located in Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa provinces, this fertile plain, is known for its agricultural production. It is a relatively flat and featureless plain with a gentle slope southward. The soil is fertile due to the alluvial deposits laid down by the Indus River and its tributaries over millions of years. This region is home to major cities like Lahore, Faisalabad, Multan, and Islamabad. The Lower Indus Plain, Stretching from Sindh province to the Arabian Sea, this plain is known for its delta and desert areas. The soil here is less fertile due to increased salinity and aridity. The Indus Delta, formed at the mouth of the Indus River where it flows into the Arabian Sea, is the largest delta in South Asia. This region is home to the metropolis of Karachi, the largest city. The Indus Plains are the economic backbone of Pakistan. They are home to a large portion of the country's population and are crucial for agriculture. The fertile lands of the Indus Plains produce a variety of crops, including wheat, cotton, rice, sugarcane, and fruits. The Indus River also provides water for irrigation and transportation. Chapter 2, Climate and Weather Systems The Earth's atmosphere is a dynamic system that shapes the conditions we experience on the ground. This section dives into four key aspects of climate and weather, exploring their characteristics, how they're measured, and their impact, with a focus on Pakistan. Climate. Introduction. Climate refers to the average weather conditions of a specific location over an extended period, typically 30 years or more. It encompasses the usual patterns of temperature, humidity, rainfall, winds, sunshine, and other atmospheric elements. Factors like latitude, altitude, proximity to oceans, and landforms influence climate. Types. Climate can be categorized into various types based on factors like temperature and precipitation patterns. Tropical climates, hot and humid year-round, with abundant rainfall. Temperate climates, warm summers and cool winters with varying precipitation. Arid climates, dry with little rainfall, often hot during the day and cool at night. Polar climates, very cold with permanent ice cover and minimal precipitation. Characteristics, climate is characterized by averages and ranges. Described using average values and ranges for various weather elements. Predictability, climate patterns tend to be more predictable over extended periods compared to weather. Change over time, climate can change slowly over decades or centuries due to natural and human-induced factors. Climate change. Range, climatic data like average temperature, rainfall, and sunshine hours are collected over long periods to establish the range for a specific location. 
Impact. Climate significantly impacts ecosystems and biodiversity distribution agriculture and food security by influencing crop yields water resources and availability human health and well-being, affecting comfort levels and disease patterns. How to measure climate data is collected and analyzed using various methods. Meteorological stations record weather elements like temperature, rainfall, and wind speed over long periods. Satellite observations monitor atmospheric conditions and large-scale climate patterns. Paleoclimate proxies, studying historical data like tree rings and ice cores to understand past climate conditions. Climate in Pakistan, Pakistan exhibits a diverse range of climates due to its varied topography. The southern plains have a hot arid climate, while the mountainous north experiences colder temperatures with significant snowfall in the Himalayas. Weather, introduction, weather refers to the state of the atmosphere at a specific time and place. It can change rapidly over hours or days, influenced by a combination of factors like air pressure, temperature, humidity, wind, and precipitation, rain, snow, etc. Types Weather can be described based on various parameters. Temperature, hot, cold, moderate precipitation, rainy, snowy, sunny, cloudy wind, speed and direction, for example, windy, calm, atmospheric conditions, foggy, hazy, clear. Characteristics, weather is characterized by variability, weather conditions can change constantly over short timescales. Location specific, weather can vary significantly even within short distances. Unpredictability, while weather forecasts can offer some guidance, predicting weather with perfect accuracy, especially in the long term, is challenging. Range, weather elements like temperature, precipitation, and wind speed can vary greatly depending on the location and time of year. Impact, weather significantly impacts. Daily activities and planning travel and transportation agriculture and crop yields risk of natural disasters like floods, droughts, and storms. How to measure, weather elements are measured using various instruments at meteorological stations. Thermometers for temperature rain gauges for precipitation anemometers for wind speed barometers for air pressure remote sensing instruments like weather radars. Weather in Pakistan, Pakistan experiences distinct seasonal variations in weather. Summers are generally hot and dry, while winters are mild in the plains and colder in the mountains. Monsoon rains occur from July to September, providing vital water resources for agriculture. 1. Winter, December to February, in northern areas, winters are cold with heavy snowfall, particularly in high-altitude regions like Gilgit Baltistan and Azad Jammu and Kashmir. In central and southern regions, winters are mild to cool, with occasional rainfall. 2. Spring, March to May. Spring brings moderate temperatures across most of Pakistan, with blossoming flowers and greenery. Northern areas start experiencing the melting of snow, leading to increased water flow in rivers and streams. 3. Summer, June to August. Summers are generally hot and dry, especially in the plains and deserts of Punjab and Sindh provinces where temperatures can soar above 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Coastal areas, such as Karachi, experience warm temperatures coupled with high humidity. Northern mountainous regions provide relief from the heat, with relatively cooler temperatures. 4. Autumn, September to November. Autumn brings pleasant weather across most of Pakistan, with gradually decreasing temperatures. Northern areas showcase vibrant fall foliage as leaves change colors. Coastal regions experience milder temperatures compared to the peak of summer. Temperature. Introduction. Temperature is a fundamental aspect of both climate and weather, indicating how hot or cold something is. It is typically measured in degrees Celsius, degree Celsius, or Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit. Air temperature is influenced by factors like solar radiation, the amount of sunlight a place receives. Places closer to the equator receive more sunlight and tend to be warmer. Latitude. As latitude increases, moving away from the equator, temperatures generally decrease. Altitude, as altitude increases, temperature generally decreases. Lapse rate, ocean currents, warm ocean currents can raise temperatures in nearby areas, while cold currents have a cooling effect. Types, there aren't specific types of temperature, but we can describe temperature based on its range. High temperatures, the hottest recorded temperatures on Earth exceed 50 degrees Celsius. 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Low temperatures. The coldest recorded temperatures on Earth are below minus 80 degrees Celsius, minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Characteristics. 
temperature is characterized by variation. Temperatures fluctuate throughout the day and year due to solar radiation changes. Daytime temperatures are generally higher than nighttime temperatures. Geographic variation. Temperature varies significantly across the globe based on latitude, altitude, and other factors. Range. Temperature ranges can be vast, from scorching deserts to frigid polar regions. Pakistan experiences a wide range of temperatures, with scorching summers exceeding 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, in some areas and freezing winters in the northern mountains. Impact. Temperature variations significantly affect plant and animal life cycles, human comfort and health, influencing heat stroke risks and hypothermia, water resources and availability. Warmer temperatures can lead to increased evaporation, energy consumption for heating and cooling. How to measure temperature is measured using thermometers, which can be liquid and glass thermometers. These traditional thermometers use the expansion of a liquid, usually mercury or alcohol, to indicate temperature. Electronic thermometers. These use electronic sensors to measure temperature and often display it digitally. Remote sensing instruments, satellites and other remote sensing tools can measure land surface temperature and atmospheric temperatures. Temperature in Pakistan, as mentioned earlier, Pakistan experiences significant variations in temperature throughout the year. The southern plains have scorching summers and mild winters, while the mountainous north experiences colder temperatures year-round with significant snowfall in the winter. 1. Highest recorded temperature, city, Jacobabad temperature, 52.8 degrees Celsius, 127 degrees Fahrenheit, location, Jacobabad is located in Sindh province in southeastern Pakistan. 2. Lowest recorded temperature, city, Skardu temperature, minus 24 degrees Celsius, minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit, location, Skardu is a town in the Gilgit Baltistan region situated in the northern part of Pakistan amidst the Karakoram mountain range. 3. Average temperature, city, Islamabad average temperature, the average temperature in Islamabad varies throughout the year. In general, summers are warm with average highs around 33 degrees Celsius, 91 degrees Fahrenheit, while winters are cool with average lows around 3 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Location, Islamabad is the capital city of Pakistan. Located in the northeastern part of the country, within the Islamabad Capital Territory. Atmosphere. Introduction. The atmosphere is the layer of gases that surrounds the Earth. It plays a crucial role in regulating temperature, distributing heat, and influencing weather patterns. The atmosphere is composed primarily of nitrogen, 78%, oxygen, 21%, argon, 0.9%, trace gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. Types. The atmosphere can be categorized into layers based on temperature variations. Troposphere. The lowest layer, where most weather phenomena occur. Stratosphere. The layer above the troposphere, containing the ozone layer that protects us from harmful ultraviolet radiation. Mesosphere. The layer above the stratosphere, where temperatures start to decrease again. Thermosphere. The uppermost layer, where temperatures can reach very high levels due to the absorption of solar radiation. Exosphere, the outermost layer, where the atmosphere thins out and merges with space. Characteristics, the atmosphere is characterized by varied composition. The composition of the atmosphere changes with altitude. Dynamic nature, the atmosphere is constantly in motion, with winds transporting heat and moisture. Essential for life, the atmosphere provides the gases necessary for life on Earth protects us from harmful radiation, and regulates temperature. Range, atmospheric pressure, temperature, and composition can vary depending on altitude and location. Impact, the atmosphere significantly impacts climate and weather patterns life on Earth. Plants and animals depend on the gases in the atmosphere. Human health, air pollution can cause respiratory problems. How to measure, various instruments are used to measure atmospheric conditions. Weather balloons, carry instruments to measure temperature, pressure, humidity, and wind speed at different altitudes. Satellites, provide a global view of atmospheric conditions, including cloud cover, air temperature, and wind patterns. Ground-based instruments, measure atmospheric pressure, temperature, humidity, and precipitation at weather stations. Atmosphere in Pakistan, Pakistan's atmosphere varies depending on altitude. In the lower plains, the atmosphere is generally hot and dry while the higher mountains experience colder and thinner air. Air pollution, 
particularly in urban areas, can be a significant concern in Pakistan. Rainfall. Introduction. Rainfall, a vital component of the water cycle, provides fresh water for ecosystems and human needs. Rainfall, the precipitation of water in liquid form from the atmosphere. Rainfall is measured in millimeters, um, or inches, in. Types, rainfall can be categorized based on its intensity and formation process. Convectional rainfall, caused by rising warm air, common in tropical regions with afternoon thunderstorms. Orographic rainfall, occurs when moist air is forced to rise over mountains, causing condensation and precipitation on the windward side. Rain shadows form on the leeward side, receiving less rainfall. Frontal rainfall, occurs along boundaries between warm and cold air masses, leading to widespread precipitation. Cyclonic rainfall, associated with low-pressure weather systems like cyclones and hurricanes, bringing heavy rainfall. Characteristics, rainfall is characterized by variability, rainfall amounts can vary significantly across regions and throughout the year. Intensity, rainfall can range from light drizzles to intense downpours. Distribution, rainfall patterns are influenced by factors like geography, wind patterns, and ocean currents. Impact, rainfall significantly impacts. Water resources and availability, replenishes freshwater supplies for rivers, lakes, and groundwater. Agriculture, crucial for crop growth and food security. Natural disasters, heavy rainfall can lead to floods and landslides. Ecosystems, supports plant and animal life. How to measure, rainfall is measured using rain gauges, which collect and quantify the amount of precipitation that falls over a specific period. Modern rain gauges can also record data like rainfall intensity and duration. Rainfall in Pakistan. Pakistan's rainfall patterns are diverse. The southern plains are arid with low rainfall, while the mountainous north receives higher precipitation, especially during the monsoon season, July to September. This seasonal rainfall is vital for agriculture and water resources in the country. 1. Monsoonal rainfall. Monsoon rains occur mainly during the summer months, from July to September. These rains are crucial for agriculture and replenishing water sources but can also lead to flooding in some areas. Monsoon rainfall affects mainly the eastern parts of the country, including Punjab, Sindh, and parts of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. 2. Winter rainfall. Some regions, particularly in the northwest, receive rainfall during the winter months, from December to February. This type of rainfall is associated with western disturbances, which bring precipitation to areas like Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Gilgit Baltistan, and Azad Jammu and Kashmir. 3. Coastal rainfall. Coastal areas, especially Karachi and adjoining regions, receive rainfall throughout the year, primarily from the Arabian Sea. The intensity of rainfall varies seasonally, with heavier rainfall during the monsoon season and lighter rainfall during other times of the year. Winds. Introduction. Winds are the movement of air from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. They play a crucial role in transporting heat moisture, and influencing weather patterns. Types. Winds can be categorized based on their cause, scale, and direction. Planetary winds. Large-scale, persistent winds caused by the Earth's rotation and differential heating. Examples include trade winds and westerlies. Local winds. Smaller-scale winds influenced by local factors like topography and temperature differences. Examples include sea breezes, valley winds, and foon winds. Characteristics. Winds are characterized by speed, measured in kilometers per hour, kilometer per hour, or miles per hour, mile per hour. Direction, indicated by the compass direction from which the wind is blowing. Influence on weather, winds transport heat, moisture, and air pollutants, affecting weather patterns. Impact, winds significantly impact. Climate and weather patterns, winds distribute heat and moisture around the globe. Ocean currents, Winds influence the movement of surface ocean currents. Wind energy. Wind can be harnessed as a renewable energy source. Transportation. Strong winds can affect air and sea travel. How to measure. Wind speed and direction are measured using anemometers. These instruments typically consist of rotating cups or propellers that spin faster in stronger winds. Wind direction is often indicated by a weather vane. Winds in Pakistan. Pakistan experiences variations in wind patterns throughout the year. In summer, hot and dry winds called Lu blow from the southwest, while cooler winds prevail in winter. Monsoon winds bring significant moisture from the Indian Ocean during the summer months. 1. Westerlies, prevail in the upper atmosphere, 
influencing weather systems and bringing moisture from the Mediterranean and Central Asia. Responsible for the winter rains in northern and western regions. 2. Summer monsoon winds, blow from the southwest, carrying moisture from the Indian Ocean. Bring heavy rainfall primarily to eastern and northeastern parts during the monsoon season, July to September. 3. Local winds, Lu, hot, dry winds that blow across northern India and Pakistan during the summer months, particularly in May and June, causing discomfort and heat waves. Westerlies in winter, cold, dry winds from the west and northwest, bringing cold temperatures to northern and western regions during winter. Mountain slash valley winds, diurnal winds influenced by local topography, such as the daytime upslope winds and nighttime downslope winds in mountainous areas. 4. Coastal winds, sea breeze, during the day, cool sea breezes blow inland from the Arabian Sea, providing relief from the heat in coastal regions. Land breeze, at night, warmer air over land moves towards the cooler sea, creating land breezes along the coast. Air pressure, introduction, air pressure is the force exerted by the weight of the atmosphere pressing down on the Earth's surface. It is measured in units like millibars, mb, or pascals, pa. Types, there aren't specific types of air pressure, but we can describe it based on its values. High pressure, areas with a higher concentration of air molecules have higher pressure. High pressure is associated with clear skies and fair weather. Low pressure, areas with fewer air molecules have lower pressure. Low pressure is associated with cloud formation and potential precipitation. Characteristics, air pressure is characterized by variation. Air pressure changes constantly due to factors like temperature and altitude. Influence on weather, air pressure differences drive winds, which in turn influence weather patterns. Impact on human health, rapid changes in air pressure can cause discomfort for some people, particularly at high altitudes. Impact, air pressure significantly impacts. Weather patterns, differences in air pressure create wind and influence cloud formation. Ocean circulation, air pressure variations affect ocean currents. Human health, rapid changes in air pressure can affect people with certain medical conditions. How to measure, air pressure is measured using barometers. These instruments typically use a sealed chamber that expands or contracts slightly with changes in air pressure, indicating the pressure on the dial. Air pressure in Pakistan, Pakistan experiences variations in air pressure throughout the year. In general, air pressure is higher in winter due to cooler temperatures and lower in summer due to warmer air. Mountainous regions have lower air pressure compared to the plains. Monitoring air pressure changes is helpful for weather forecasting in Pakistan. Chapter 3, Hydrogeology of Pakistan. Hydrogeology branch is responsible for the groundwater investigation in the country. There are several hydrological basin and all over the country. Each of those basin partakes in thousands of square kilometers of watershed area. These basins occur in different geological setting per se keeping in view the changing climatic patterns and consequently, the alarming condition of water shortage in future, the hydrogeology branch is active in delineating the watershed and catchment areas and establish hydrogeological basins in the country to plan a sustainable future. Additionally, it also works along coastal areas to assess the effects of seawater intrusion. This branch integrates remote sensing and GIS techniques and uses borehole and geophysical survey data. 1. Water Resources and Distribution Uneven distribution, Pakistan faces a significant challenge with uneven water distribution. The Indus River system, fed by glaciers, snowmelt, and rainfall in the Himalayas, provides most of the water resources. However, this vital system is concentrated in the eastern and southern regions, leaving vast areas, particularly in Balochistan, with limited water availability. Glacier dependence, Pakistan is home to over 7,000 glaciers the most for any country outside the polar regions. These glaciers store an estimated 24 million cubic meters, MCM, of freshwater and contribute significantly to the Indus River system during the spring and summer months. However, climate change is causing rapid glacial retreat, threatening long-term water security. 2. Indus River System, the lifeline, the mighty Indus, the Indus River, with its tributaries, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Sutluj, Bayas, stretches over 3,000 kilometers and forms the backbone of Pakistan's water resources. The Indus Basin covers approximately 1.1 million square kilometers, square kilometer, life-sustaining network, 
The Indus River system provides water for irrigation of over 16 million hectares of land, crucial for Pakistan's agricultural sector and food security. It also contributes to hydropower generation, supplying electricity to millions of homes and businesses. 3. Groundwater Resources Hidden Reserves Groundwater resources play a vital role in Pakistan, especially in areas with limited surface water availability. Estimates suggest total groundwater reserves of around 54 billion cubic meters, BCM, over exploitation concerns, while groundwater provides a crucial buffer, over extraction for irrigation and domestic use is a growing concern. This can lead to depletion of aquifers and saltwater intrusion in coastal areas. 4. Challenges and Management Climate Change Threat Climate change poses a significant threat to Pakistan's water resources. Glacier retreat erratic rainfall patterns, and rising temperatures all contribute to water scarcity concerns. Population growth and water demand. Pakistan's population is projected to reach over 300 million by 2050, putting further strain on already limited water resources. Efficient water management practices are crucial to meet growing demand. Water pollution, industrial waste, agricultural runoff, and untreated sewage contribute to water pollution, jeopardizing water quality for drinking, irrigation, and aquatic ecosystems. 5. The Path Forward, Sustainable Water Management. Conservation Efforts, Pakistan is implementing various strategies to conserve water resources. Promoting drip irrigation, repairing leaky canals, and raising public awareness are essential steps. Investing in infrastructure, upgrading water infrastructure, including dams and canals, can improve water storage and distribution efficiency. Investments in desalination plants could provide alternative water sources in coastal areas. Regional cooperation, sharing water resources and collaborating on management strategies with neighboring countries that share rivers like the Indus is crucial for long-term water security. By acknowledging the challenges and implementing sustainable water management practices, Pakistan can secure its water future and ensure a prosperous and resilient nation. Glaciers of Pakistan 1. Siachen Glacier Introduction the Siachen Glacier is one of the longest glaciers outside the polar regions and is often referred to as the world's highest battleground due to military conflicts between India and Pakistan. Location, Karakoram Range, Gilgit Baltistan Range, Karakoram Approximate Area, about 76 square kilometers importance. The Siachen Glacier serves as a source of the Nubra River, which contributes to the Indus River system, providing crucial freshwater resources for agriculture and communities downstream. Two. Baltoro Glacier. Introduction. The Baltoro Glacier is one of the largest and longest glaciers outside the polar regions, renowned for its stunning beauty and accessibility to some of the world's highest peaks. Location. Karakoram Range, Gilgit Baltistan Range, Karakoram Approximate Area, approximately 62 square kilometers importance. The Baltoro Glacier is a popular destination for trekkers and mountaineers, offering access to iconic peaks such as K2, Broad Peak, and Gasherbrum. 3. Batura Glacier. Introduction. The Batura Glacier is one of the largest and longest glaciers outside the polar regions, known for its immense size and spectacular beauty. Location. Batura Musta subrange of the Karakoram Range, Gilgit Baltistan Range, Karakoram Approximate Area, around 57 square kilometers importance. The Batura Glacier is a significant source of freshwater for local communities and contributes to the Hunza River supporting agriculture and livelihoods in the region. 4. Hispar Glacier Introduction The Hispar Glacier is one of the longest glaciers in the world outside the polar regions, connecting the Hunza and Nagar Valleys. Location, Karakoram Range, Gilgit Baltistan Range, Karakoram Approximate Area, approximately 61 square kilometers importance. The Hispar Glacier plays a crucial role in regulating river flow and providing water for irrigation, hydropower generation, and drinking purposes downstream. 5. Chagaliza Glacier. Page 14. Introduction. The Chagaliza Glacier is located in the heart of the Karakoram Range, surrounded by towering peaks, including the majestic Chagaliza Peak. Location. Karakoram Range, Gilgit Baltistan Range, Karakoram Approximate Area, estimated to cover several square kilometers importance. The Chagaliza Glacier contributes to the hydrology of the region, supplying water for agriculture, drinking, and hydroelectric power generation downstream. Rivers of Pakistan Introduction Pakistan is blessed with a network of rivers that play a vital role in its agriculture, 
economy, and ecosystem. These rivers originate from various sources, including glaciers, mountain ranges, and plateaus, and traverse diverse landscapes before emptying into the Arabian Sea. Location The rivers of Pakistan flow through different regions, covering vast areas of the country. They traverse through the Himalayas, Karakoram, and Hindu Kush mountain ranges, as well as the arid plains of Punjab and Sindh provinces, before converging in the southern coastal areas. Range and length 1. Indus River, length, approximately 3,180 km range, originates from the Tibetan Plateau in China, flows through northern India, and enters Pakistan near Skardu. It traverses through the entire length of the country, forming the backbone of Pakistan's river system. 2. Jhelum River, length, about 725 km range, originates from the Indian-administered territory of Jammu and Kashmir and enters Pakistan near the city of Muzaffarabad. It flows through the Punjab region before joining the Chenab River. 3. Chenab River, length, approximately 1,242 km range, originates from the Himalayas in Indian-administered Jammu and Kashmir and enters Pakistan near the city of Sialkot. It flows through Punjab province, forming an integral part of the Indus Basin. 4. Ravi River, length, around 720 km range, originates from the Himalayas in Indian-administered Himachal Pradesh and enters Pakistan near the city of Dera Baba Nanak. It flows through Punjab province, contributing to the agricultural fertility of the region. 5. Sutlej River, length, approximately 1,549 km range, originates from the Tibetan Plateau and flows through the Indian states of Himachal Pradesh and Punjab before entering Pakistan near the city of Bahawalpur. It traverses through Punjab and Zint provinces before joining the Indus River. Agriculture, these rivers serve as a lifeline for agriculture in Pakistan, providing water for irrigation and sustaining the livelihoods of millions of farmers. Hydropower, the rivers support the generation of hydropower, contributing significantly to Pakistan's energy needs. Transportation, historically, the rivers have facilitated transportation and trade, although their role in this aspect has diminished over time. Ecosystems, the river ecosystems support a diverse range of flora and fauna, including important wetland habitats and fish species. Cultural heritage, the rivers hold cultural and historical significance, featuring prominently in folklore, literature, and religious traditions. The rivers of Pakistan are essential resources that require sustainable management and conservation efforts to ensure their continued contribution to the country's development and well-being. Lakes of Pakistan 1. Introduction Lakes in Pakistan are natural reservoirs of water, offering scenic beauty, recreational opportunities, and serving as vital habitats for various flora and fauna. They contribute to the ecological balance and provide essential resources for local communities. 2. Location The lakes are distributed across different regions of Pakistan, including the northern mountainous areas, the central plains, and the western and southern provinces. 3. Ranges Lakes can be found in various mountain ranges of Pakistan, such as the Karakoram Range, the Himalayas, and the Hindu Kush. They also occur in the Indus River Basin and other river systems. 4. Key Lakes of Pakistan A. Lake Saiful Muluk Located in the Kagan Valley of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Province, situated at an altitude of approximately 3,224 meters, 10,578 feet, above sea level. Surrounded by snow-capped peaks, it is one of the highest lakes in Pakistan and is famous for its stunning natural beauty. B. Lake Adabad, located in the Hunza Valley of Gilgit Baltistan. Formed as a result of a landslide in 2010, blocking the flow of the Hunza River. Its turquoise blue waters against the backdrop of towering mountains attract tourists from around the world. C. Kinjar Lake, Kalri Lake, situated in Thada District, Sindh Province, largest freshwater lake in Pakistan, serving as a significant water reservoir for the region. Important for fishing, agriculture, and providing habitat for migratory birds. D. Sapara Lake, located near Skardu in Gilgit, Baltistan formed by melting glaciers and fed by freshwater streams, plays a crucial role in irrigation, hydropower generation, and tourism in the region. E. Hanna Lake, situated near Kuwata, Balochistan province, formed by the construction of a dam on the Darmalak River, provides recreational activities such as boating and picnicking and serves as a water source for Kuwata City. 5. Importance, 
Ecological importance. Lakes support diverse ecosystems, including aquatic life, wetlands, and surrounding vegetation. Economic significance. Many lakes contribute to fisheries, agriculture, hydropower generation, and tourism, boosting local economies. Cultural and recreational value. Lakes hold cultural significance for local communities and provide opportunities for recreational activities such as boating, fishing, and sightseeing. Water resources. Lakes serve as crucial reservoirs of freshwater, providing drinking water, irrigation, and industrial water supply for surrounding areas. Agriculture General. Introduction to Agriculture. Agriculture is the practice of cultivating land and raising crops and livestock to sustain humanity. It's the foundation of civilization, providing food, fiber, and other essential products. Importance of Agriculture. Agriculture is crucial for our survival. It provides food. We rely on agriculture for all our food needs, from grains and vegetables to meat and dairy. Fiber. Natural fibers like cotton and wool come from agricultural products. Raw materials. Many industries use agricultural products like wood and rubber. Environmental benefits. Agriculture maintains healthy ecosystems by providing wildlife habitat and regulating the climate. Components of agriculture. There are several key components that make up agriculture. Crops. Arable farming focuses on food crops, while horticulture deals with fruits, vegetables, and ornamentals. Livestock. Raising animals for meat, milk, eggs, and other products is a vital part of agriculture. Soil. Healthy soil is essential for sustainable crop growth. Water. Water is crucial for irrigation and maintaining plant health. Technology. Modern agriculture utilizes tools like tractors, drones, and sensors for increased efficiency. Arable farming. This is the cultivation of crops for food, such as wheat, maize, rice, and soybeans. Horticulture. This is the cultivation of fruits, vegetables, flowers, and ornamental plants. Livestock production. Livestock farming. This is the raising of animals for meat, milk, eggs, wool, and other products. Common livestock animals include cows, pigs, sheep, chickens, etc. Poultry farming. This is the specific branch of livestock farming that raises domesticated birds for meat, eggs, or feathers. Chickens, turkeys, ducks, geese, and guinea fowl are some commonly raised poultry. Apiculture, beekeeping. This is the practice of keeping bees to collect honey and other products. Honey bees are the most common type of bee kept for apiculture. Aquaculture, aquaculture. This is the farming of fish, shellfish, and other aquatic organisms. It is a rapidly growing sector of agriculture, especially suited for areas with limited land. Other agricultural practices. Agroforestry. This integrates trees and shrubs into crop and livestock production systems. It provides a number of benefits, including improving soil fertility, providing shade and shelter for livestock, and helping to control erosion. Urban agriculture. This is the practice of cultivating, processing, and distributing food in, or around, a village, town, or city. It can be a great way to provide fresh, local food to urban residents and reduce the environmental impact of food transportation. Vertical farming. This is the practice of growing crops in vertically stacked layers. Vertical farming can be used to grow crops in urban areas or in places with limited land availability. Organic agriculture. This is a form of agriculture that avoids the use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers. Organic agriculture is becoming increasingly popular as consumers become more concerned about the health and environmental impacts of food production. Permaculture. This is a design system for creating sustainable human settlements. Permaculture principles can be applied to agriculture to create systems that are productive, resilient, and beneficial to the environment. Factors influencing agriculture. Several factors impact agricultural practices. Climate. Weather patterns significantly affect crop yields and livestock health. Water availability. Water scarcity is a growing concern that influences agricultural practices. Technology. Advancements in technology like precision agriculture improve efficiency and sustainability. Government policies. Government policies can incentivize specific agricultural practices or limit resource use. Challenges and opportunities. Agriculture faces significant challenges. Climate change. Rising temperatures and changing weather patterns threaten crop yields and livestock production. Population growth. Feeding a growing population requires innovative and sustainable agricultural practices. Resource scarcity. 
water scarcity and soil degradation pose challenges for future agricultural production. However, there are also opportunities. Precision agriculture, utilizing technology for better data-driven decisions can improve efficiency and sustainability. Organic farming, Growing consumer demand for organic products creates opportunities for sustainable practices. Alternative farming methods, vertical farming and hydroponics offer solutions for limited land availability. Biotechnology, genetically modified crops can potentially improve yields and resistance to pests and diseases. Future outlook for agriculture, the future of agriculture requires innovation and adaptation. Embracing sustainable practices, utilizing technology, and exploring new farming methods will be crucial to ensure food security and environmental well-being for future generations. Minerals of Pakistan Pakistan is one of the most resource-rich countries in the international political economy. The state is known for its rich weather that includes four seasons, distinct geographical features, and of course, the abundant resources of minerals and metals that it possesses. Due to its rich geography, it not only receives heavy tourist traffic, but also favors processes such as metallurgy and mineral extraction that add to its position in the international market. Pakistan's mineral sector contributes a surprisingly small share of its GDP. Estimates vary slightly, but it generally falls around 2.5% to 3%. This is far below the potential of the sector, considering Pakistan's reserves of copper, gold, coal, and other valuable minerals. 1. Coal. Introduction a vital energy resource used for power generation and industrial processes. Locations, Balochistan, Punjab, Sindh provinces. Reserves, estimated at over 185 billion tons. Worth, worth billions of USD. Uses, power generation, cement production, steel manufacturing. Importance, crucial for energy security and industrial development. 2. Copper, introduction, valuable metal used in electrical wiring, construction, and industrial machinery. Locations, Balochistan, Sandak, Rekodik, Gilgit Baltistan. Reserves, Rekodik alone holds about 5.9 billion tons of ore. Worth, potential worth of billions of USD. Uses, electrical conductors, alloys, plumbing. Importance, contributes to industrial growth and export revenue. 3. Iron ore, introduction essential raw material for steel production and infrastructure development. Locations, Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Punjab. Reserves, estimated at several billion tons. Worth, worth billions of USD. Uses, steel manufacturing, construction, automotive industry. Importance, crucial for infrastructure development and economic growth. 4. Gypsum, introduction, widely used in cement production, agriculture, and construction materials. Locations, Punjab, Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Reserves, extensive deposits, with large reserves in the salt range. Worth, valuable for construction industry and agriculture. Uses, cement, plasterboard, soil conditioning. Importance, essential for construction and agricultural sectors. 5. Salt, introduction, essential mineral used in food processing, chemical industries and healthcare. Locations, Punjab, Krasalt Mine, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Reserves, Krasalt Mine alone has massive reserves. Worth, generates significant revenue. Uses, food preservation, chemical production, healthcare. Importance, critical for food industry and chemical manufacturing. 6. Gemstones, introduction, precious stones used in jewelry and ornaments. Locations, Gilgit Baltistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Reserves, varied, including emerald, ruby, sapphire, and topaz. Worth, generates substantial revenue from exports. Uses, jewelry, ornaments, decorative items. Importance, contributes to jewelry industry and export earnings. 7. Chromite, introduction, important for stainless steel production, alloy manufacturing, and industrial applications. Locations, Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Reserves, Balochistan has significant deposits. Worth, valuable for steel industry. Uses, stainless steel, chrome plating, refractory materials. Importance, crucial for steel manufacturing and industrial processes. 8. Gold, introduction, precious metal valued for its rarity and aesthetic appeal. Locations, 
occurs in various regions, including Punjab and Balochistan. Reserves, estimated at several tons. Worth, high market value, worth billions of USD. Uses, jewelry, investments, electronics. Importance, valued for its cultural significance, investment potential, and industrial applications. 9. Diamonds, introduction, rare and valuable gemstones used in jewelry and industrial applications. Locations, occur sporadically in alluvial deposits in various regions. Reserves, limited, with sporadic occurrences. Worth, high market value, worth millions to billions of USD. Uses, jewelry, cutting tools, industrial abrasives. Importance, highly prized for their beauty, rarity, and industrial properties. Chapter 4, Human Settlements. Indus Valley Civilization. The Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, flourished in the northwestern regions of South Asia from roughly 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE. Here's a breakdown of its key aspects. Era and Location. Thrived during the Bronze Age, making it one of the earliest urban civilizations alongside Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt. Flourished in the Indus River Valley encompassing parts of modern-day Pakistan, northwest India, and Afghanistan. Cities and planning. Two of the most prominent excavated cities are Harappa, in Pakistan, and Mohenjo-Daro, also in Pakistan. These cities showcased impressive urban planning with well-laid-out streets, a sophisticated drainage system, and even granaries for storing food. Houses were built of mud bricks and often had multiple stories, courtyards, and wells. People and livelihood. The inhabitants of the Indus Valley civilization were skilled farmers, cultivating crops like wheat, barley, cotton, and sesame. They also excelled in various crafts, including pottery making, metalworking, and weaving. Evidence suggests a well-organized society with a complex social hierarchy and possibly a centralized governing system. Trade and culture. The civilization engaged in long-distance trade with Mesopotamia and Central Asia, exporting items like crafted goods and beads. A unique writing system, still undeciphered, was used for communication and record-keeping. They created remarkable sculptures and seals depicting animals and figures, hinting at a rich cultural life. Decline and Legacy The reasons for the decline of the Indus Valley civilization around 1900 BCE remain unclear. Theories include climate change, floods, or a gradual shift in population centers. Page 21. Despite its eventual disappearance, the Indus Valley civilization left a lasting legacy, influencing later cultures in the region. Unanswered questions. The Indus script remains a mystery, hindering a deeper understanding of their societal structure and beliefs. The reasons for the civilization's decline are still debated, leaving room for further exploration and research. The Indus Valley Civilization stands as a testament to the ingenuity and social organization of early human societies in South Asia. Its enduring legacy continues to spark curiosity and inspire archaeological investigations to unveil more about this fascinating civilization. The Aryan Era The Aryan Era refers to a period in ancient Indian history characterized by the arrival and settlement of the Aryans, a pastoral and nomadic Indo-European people, in the Indian subcontinent. This era is typically associated with the Vedic period, which spans roughly from around 1500 BCE to 500 BCE. Migration and Settlement The Aryans are believed to have migrated into the Indian subcontinent from Central Asia, possibly through the passes in the northwestern Himalayas, around the early to mid-2nd millennium BCE. They gradually settled in the northwestern regions of the Indian subcontinent, including present-day Punjab, Haryana, and Uttar Pradesh and later expanded into other parts of the region. Vedic Literature The Aryan society during this era is primarily documented in the Vedas, ancient sacred texts composed in Sanskrit. The Rigveda, the oldest of the Vedas, provides insights into Aryan society, religion, rituals, and social customs. The Vedas also contain hymns, prayers, and philosophical reflections that offer glimpses into the spiritual and intellectual life of the Aryans. Social Structure and Religion Aryan society during this period was organized into tribes or clans known as Jana or Tribuya, led by chiefs or kings known as Rajas. Society was divided into four Vernas or classes, Brahmins, priests and scholars, Kshatriyas, warriors and rulers, Vaishyas, merchants and farmers, and Shudras, laborers and artisans. Religion played a central role in Aryan life, with worship of nature gods and rituals such as fire sacrifices, yajnas, forming integral parts of their religious practices.
Page 22. Economy and Agriculture. The Aryans practiced a pastoral and agrarian lifestyle, herding cattle and horses, and cultivating crops such as barley, wheat, and millet. They developed a system of land ownership and agricultural practices, including the use of plows and irrigation techniques, expansion and influence. Over time, the Aryans expanded their settlements and influence across the Indian subcontinent, assimilating with indigenous peoples and establishing kingdoms and republics. The Aryan cultural and linguistic influence shaped the development of classical Indian civilization, including language, literature, religion, and social structure. The Aryan era laid the foundation for subsequent periods of Indian history, contributing to the cultural and social fabric of the Indian subcontinent and shaping its diverse heritage. Sociocultural Development Sociocultural development refers to the evolution and transformation of societies and cultures over time. It encompasses various aspects of human life, including social structures, norms, values, beliefs, customs, traditions, arts, literature, and technology. Here's an overview of sociocultural development. 1. Social structures. Societies develop hierarchical structures that organize individuals into groups based on factors such as ethnicity, religion, class, and gender. Social structures may include family units, communities, institutions, and governing bodies, each with its own roles, responsibilities, and power dynamics. 2. Norms and values. Norms are established standards of behavior that guide individuals' actions within society. Values are beliefs and principles that shape individuals' attitudes and perceptions, influencing societal norms and practices. 3. Beliefs and religion. Beliefs and religious practices play significant roles in shaping cultural identities and societal values. Religion often provides moral and ethical frameworks, rituals, and ceremonies that foster social cohesion and identity. 4. Customs and traditions. Customs and traditions reflect the cultural heritage and practices passed down through generations. They encompass rituals, ceremonies, festivals, and celebrations that reinforce cultural identities and community bonds. 5. Arts and literature. Artistic expression, including visual arts, music, dance, theater, and literature, reflects cultural creativity and values. Literature preserves collective memories, narratives, myths, and wisdom, contributing to cultural continuity and identity. 6. Technology and Innovation Technological advancements drive sociocultural change by shaping how people interact, communicate, and organize their lives. Innovations in technology influence economic activities, social relationships, and cultural practices. 7. Globalization and Cultural Exchange Globalization facilitates the exchange of ideas, values, and practices across cultures, leading to cultural hybridization and diversity. Cultural exchange fosters cross-cultural understanding, tolerance, and appreciation of diverse perspectives. 8. Education and Media Education systems transmit knowledge, skills, and values, shaping individuals' worldviews and social behaviors. Media platforms influence public discourse, cultural narratives, and social norms, contributing to sociocultural development. Sociocultural development is a dynamic and complex process influenced by historical, environmental, economic, and political factors. It involves both continuity and change as societies adapt to new challenges, innovations, and opportunities, while preserving their cultural heritage and identities. Foundation. Imagine a house. Before you can build the walls, roof, and pretty paint job, you need a strong foundation. It's the hidden part that keeps everything else stable and secure. Human settlements work the same way. The foundation of settlements refers to the very basics that allow people to live together in a specific location. Here's what makes up this foundation. Natural resources. This is everything people need to survive and thrive in a place. It could be access to fresh water for drinking and irrigation, fertile land for growing crops, or abundant fish in nearby rivers or oceans. Think about early settlements near rivers, water for drinking, transportation, and growing food. Climate. The weather patterns of a place significantly influence where people choose to settle. A mild climate with predictable rainfall encourages permanent settlements, while harsh or unpredictable climates might lead to nomadic lifestyles. Oh imagine building a house in a place with constant floods or scorching heat, not ideal. Geographical location. Settlements often sprung up at crossroads of trade routes, near natural harbors for easy transportation, 
or in defensible locations like hills or mountains. Think about cities built near rivers or on the coast, perfect for trade, building on the foundation. Once the basic needs are met, other aspects start developing on top of this foundation. Shelter, people build homes for protection from the elements and security. Early shelters might be simple caves or huts, while later settlements have more permanent structures. From tents to mud brick houses to skyscrapers, shelter evolves with technology and needs. Food production, as settlements become more permanent, people develop ways to grow food or raise animals for sustenance. This can involve farming, fishing, or herding practices depending on the environment. Oh, farming allows people to stay in one place and grow their food supply. Social organization, as settlements grow, some form of social structure emerges. This could involve leaders, laws, and different roles for different people, farmers, craftspeople, etc. Oh, villages, towns, and cities all have ways to keep things running smoothly. The foundation keeps evolving. Just like houses need maintenance and upgrades, the foundation of human settlements needs to adapt to changing times. Technology, advancements in agriculture, construction, and transportation all influence how settlements develop and function. Imagine the difference between a village relying on horse-drawn carts and a city with high-speed trains. Resource management, as settlements grow, managing resources like water and land becomes crucial. Sustainable practices ensure the long-term viability of the settlement. Using water wisely and taking care of the land are essential for a healthy community. Understanding foundations helps us learn. Studying the foundations of human settlements allows us to understand the past by looking at the location, resources, and social structures of ancient settlements. We can piece together how people lived back then. Why did people build cities along the Nile River in Egypt? The answer lies in the foundation elements. Plan for the future as we face challenges like climate change and population growth. Understanding what makes settlements thrive can help us build sustainable and resilient communities for the future. How can we build cities that are prepared for floods or droughts? Learning from the past helps. So, the next time you see a bustling city or a small farming village, remember the unseen foundation that makes it all possible. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to adapt and build a life wherever we choose to settle.